welcome back guys this is question number 18 and here we are asked that an electrical load has a power factor of 0 0.8 lagging okay so uh, it dissipates 8 kilowatt at a voltage of 200 volts calculate the impedance of this load in rectangular coordinates okay so uh, that is a very interesting question and let me depict it by using a figure so let me have a figure here in which we have this load okay so what is basically the applied voltage here the applied voltage here is let me have a 200 volts and the power which dissipates across this load is 8 kilowatts okay um, and the power factor associated with this load is 0.8 lagging what we have to find out we have to find out this z naught let me call it z naught i have to find out this z naught and uh, first of all let me also find out the current which it is getting out of this source so in order to find it out what are the quantities i have this power factor here so i know that the power factor is equal to the cos of theta okay or in order to have it i can also see that cos of theta is 0.8 or in order to find the value of theta what is equal to cos inverse of 0.8 and what is it equal to let me calculate it so cos inverse of 0 0.8 how much would it be that is 30 36.87 so theta is 36.87 degrees okay so that is the theta which i have so now what else do i have i have this power as well that is the power dissipated and that is basically the real power so i know that the power is real power is always equal to p equal to i v cos of theta where this cos of theta is the power factor okay uh, which i already know so all the quantities here are known except this current so in order to find the current here what it will be so it would be p divided by v cos of theta or putting values here what i will get it would be 8000 divided by v that is 200 multiplied by 0 0.8 okay so these two will cancel out and here this will be 40 so 40 divided by 0 0.8 so let me calculate it 40 divided by 0 0.8 and how much it would be this is now 50 amperes okay uh, so the current magnitude of the current is already known which i have calculated right now so now um, as the magnitude is already known but there is another term here which is this lagging okay and i have previously told you whenever this lagging term is used that it will always be associated with the current okay always the current when leads um, when this is leading it means the current is leading when the power factor is lagging it means current is lagging so here um, in power factor calculation or in here always there is always a relationship between voltage and current okay so now here as voltage is leading and uh, current is lagging therefore in polar form what it would be it would be if this is 200 and the angle with it is 0 degrees so here this current would be how much the the magnitude it has is 50 while the angle it will have is this 36.87 which i have obtained from my power factor and it would now be minus 38.87 degrees okay because of its lagging nature and on the phasor diagram you will very easily see that if uh, this is the voltage which is now leading so the current here will be here which is lagging and the angle it is making with it is theta and this is what this is the current so that is the phasor diagram and here this relationship is valid okay 
so um, from it i have calculated all the values okay so that is now a very simple circuit where i know the current i know the voltage and i want to find out this z naught so here the validity of ohm's law also applies here so according to ohm's law v is equal to i z naught or the value of z naught is how much that is v divided by i okay so now let me put these values so z naught is 200 0 degrees divided by the 50 with what minus 36.87 degrees okay so that would be how much that is now 4 and 4 ohm with an angle of 36.87 degrees so that is the impedance of my load but as we are asked to find out it in the rectangular form because in that manner i would clearly know that what is the actual resistance and what are the reactive elements available in my load so let me first do it in what in my form here so that is now 4 and the angle associated with it is 36. 87 okay so that is uh, here and the uh, that is now the direct form because now that is complex and i already selected it to convert it into the uh, rectangular form so it would be 3.19 okay so let me write it so z naught is now 3.19 okay and with it the yes this is plus plus j 2.4 what 2.4 yes that is 2.4 so that is the impedance where this is the real term which shows the resistance while this is the reactance of my load so uh, due to this reactance the power factor is now lower than 1 and that is now 0.8 okay so that is a very interesting question uh, by using which i can find out the impedances which are already connected with the machines or uh, in any household or anywhere whatever i want to find out okay so that's it for today in which i have calculated the value of current and uh, from it i can also find out very is useful information just like the power consumption energy consumptions and so on so that's it for today and i will see you with some more interesting questions like this one in our upcoming videos 